Hi everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, today's video, we are going to step out of my realm of my regular unboxings and makeup tutorials and we're going to review a luxury brand product that I picked up uh, about a month ago actually. So in today's video we are going to review an item that's currently in this dust bag from the company or the luxury brand Burberry. So if you want to know exactly what's in here and my thoughts and opinions on that particular product then you got to keep on watching. So but before we do that if you like people like me who are just completely scatterbrained, <laughs> let's be honest, and you like luxury brand reviews, makeup tutorials, and unboxings, and then this is your channel. It sure is. So you know what that means? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications. And also give me my video. Why am I doing this? <laughs> give my video a thumbs up as well. Why? Because I truly appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get into this bag right here. Well, technically it's a dust bag. Let's get into this dust bag and see exactly which product we're going to be reviewing from the luxury house brand Burberry. All right, you guys. So let's get right into the video and show you exactly which item I have in here. Give you my thoughts and opinions about this particular product. So just give you a backstory. So the reason why I picked this up, and I picked it up about a month ago, is because as you can see right behind me, I have a lot of tote bags, a lot of larger size bags in general. And I wanted to not necessarily completely downsize, but downsize to a smaller bag. And I'm like, you know what? Fanny packs are... Well, they're back in style now since when I grew up, but no, they're a lot more practical. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I was going to go to Louis Vuitton, as you can see, I have quite a bit, but I was like, I don't know if I want to spend that much money on this particular Louis Vuitton fanny pack. So I was like, let me just go to a different luxury brand and see what exactly they have out there on the market. So I was narrowing down either between a Gucci one, a Burberry one, and I believe, what was the other brand? Um... I think it was Prada. I could be wrong. I can't think of the last third one, but I know there was three of them that I was choosing from. So I ended up choosing this particular one from Burberry. So right here. All right. So granted, if you're a person, but you clicked onto the channel, so you must want to see what exactly luxury brand I'm referring to because you want to make sure that you're making the best, wisest choice for your coins. So Again, if you're not a luxury brand and you don't like how people spend their money, then you're more than welcome to click away. But if you want to continue watching, please go ahead and do so. All right, you guys. So, do, do, do. it's so sad I have to give a disclaimer. But you know what? There are some trolls out there that are like, why are you spending your money on that? Blah, blah, blah. You get it, right? All right. So, here it is, you guys. <gasps> Ooh, see, I still have the tags on. <laughs> I haven't even used it, but I have taken it out, tested it out for a minute in the sense of like holding it, wearing it as how I plan to use it. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the reason why the tag is still on here, <laughs> but it is real. So you see, I got the real luggage. I mean, real luggage tag, the real tag on here. Um, let me see, is the price on here? All right. It doesn't. Well, there was a price on here, but it looks like they ripped it off. So just case if you guys want to know, you're more than welcome to go to the website, look it up. But I'll go ahead and tell you it does retail for $830, which I honestly don't think that's actually a bad price point, especially for a luggage, luggage, a luxury brand product in general. So $830 for me, in my perspective, that's actually a great deal. So anyways, you guys, so yeah, I'll definitely leave a link in the description <laughs> in the description for you for you, just in case you want to go out there to their website, Burberry. But I did pick this up directly for, from Nordstrom. So same price point, no difference. <laughs> Sally, no sale either, Sally. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and show you a quickly from the beginning or from the front, how it looks like. Now, this sucker is actually a lot larger than I expected. So here is the front, as you can see, and then here is the back. So the back does have a zipper. I still have the plastic shrink wrap, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. You know to help protect the hardware before it gets to its destination me <laughs> anyways you guys so it's right there so the pocket actually is quite large at least i think it is so there you guys go from the inside the inside is a cotton i guess fabric as you can call it 
So then the outside, just in case you guys want to know, I'll go into the measurements in a little bit, but I definitely want to show you around the actual um, fanny pack so you guys can get a better idea if this is something that's going to fit your lifestyle. So this plastic, plastic, this leather is actually very decent in terms of quality. Like it's super thick as you see that. I mean, it is not thin whatsoever. So stitching on both sides. I looked at this bag prior and I didn't see any problems with the stitching at all, which there should not be any. But here is the opposite side as well. Same flow in, in terms of appearance. I cannot talk. If you're new to my channel, I I stutter on my words, so just bear with me. All right, you guys. So here goes the up opposite side of the actual fanny pack. So one thing I was surprised, and I'm not sure if it's a if it's something that I don't like or it's something I do like. I guess I'm trying to figure out if I do like it or not. So this actually, this right here, it is plastic. Um, the reason why I have a concern about it, because I don't know how durable this plastic is. I honestly would prefer a metal, but Who's to say what was the reasoning behind that in terms of the design? I, I don't consider it a flaw. Again, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just, I would prefer a little bit more harder metal. Again, that's just me. All right, so here is the leathers themselves. No embossment, just a regular leather on both sides. So you can stretch this out or make it smaller. Again, I will list the measurements in below in the description. <laughs> Well, I always mess up in the description field below, but I will also tell you as well. All right, so that is pretty much it in terms of the back. I do love the actual pattern itself. Now, here is the front. So the front, you do got like this huge, ma wrong side, this huge massive opening. So there goes the zipper. The zipper does say Burberry. Hopefully, it's upside down. It does say Burberry. It's upside down again, I give up. Anyways, you get the hint, right? It says Burberry. So then the inside is right here. So it does have an inside pocket. All right, so looks like, oh, we got the style number in here. This is how bad I've only used it. I never used it. I mean, I tried it on, but never used it. All right, so then you get the care booklet inside that little pocket, as you saw. So once again, it's right there. It's a pretty decent size. I have an iPhone 11 Pro, so I leave. This should fit in there. Let me take a look, yeah. So it fits perfectly right in there. So just in case you guys wanna know, it does fit absolutely. Could you fit anything else in there? Yeah, but it would be a tight, snug fit, so just, just so you know. And I'll go ahead and put it on the back opposite side as well, so you can have a look. So there you guys go. No problems whatsoever. Fits in there very nicely, which personally for me, I think if I was holding this bag or wearing the bag, I would probably put all my cash and credit cards in here because it's right next to my body area, wherever I choose to place it. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, you guys. So, and then the inside closer over here, it does have the stamp date code as you guys can see. And again, same lining. It is a cotton base lining. All right, you guys, so just in case you guys want to know measurements, so I am currently on Burberry's website. So the title, I believe, or the description of this particular model, it is called a medium monogram stripe E canvas bum bag. Long title, I'm not going to lie. So as I mentioned, it does retail for $830. Currently, what it has it here listed as the color of brown. Okay, um, now if I go under the product details of this, it does state that the measurements, so it looks like it is 12.2 inches by 3 inches by 6.3 inches. So what that basically is telling me, from my understanding, this right here, from here to over here, is the 12.2 inches long. Now from the 3 inches, that would be the depth, so that would be from right over here, and then from the 6.3 inches, that would be from the top to the base of the actual fatty pack. So hopefully that gives you a description in terms of like the size overall. Um, now in terms of the strap. So on the website it does state that the minimum strap length is 54 centimeters. But if you want to put that down in inches, which I'm glad they did do, it is 21.3 inches. So pretty decent. Um, now the maximum, it is the length is 200, how about I say 200, 126 centimeters. But if you go by inches, it is 
49.6 inches. Now I will get to the length in terms of how long. I do have a slight concern about that and I'll explain to you the reason why. So now the trimming itself, this would be the trimming. This is 100% leather. The lining, as I mentioned, I am correct. It is 100% cotton. Um, let me take a look and see if there's anything else that needs to be addressed. So one interior patch, which would be the pocket. Um, it's hand painted edges. So what they're referring to the hand painted edges is basically this. It, this is the glazing. So this is always done by like a, I'm not sure how I explain what the tool is, but pretty much if I get like a makeup brush, just imagine the tool is like this, this big, and then they dip it in a particular paint and then they slightly glaze it to help Un, like prevent unraveling of the leather or anything in that nature so that's what they mean by hand painted because technically it is hand done this is made in italy so just in case you also want to know what the item number is for this particular bag they have it listed on their website as 8021 bingo <laughs> i don't know why i just did that so yeah hopefully that gives you a good description now when i wore it it was slightly large, so just so you know, but is it bigger than what I currently carry? Absolutely not. So what I ended up doing is just pulling it all the way to the end of the straps. And the way I plan to wear it is not like an actual fanny pack, but I do plan to wear it as cross body. So what I mean by that is that I will put it around my shoulders or one shoulder, as you saw. And let me get up so you guys can take a look so I can show you exactly how it lays on my body. All right, you guys, so this is how I would normally wear this particular bag. It would just be in this position or the opposite position. So remember when I said that I would normally put like my money or my credit cards in the back pocket. And the reason for that is because there's not a likely chance that anyone's gonna open it because it is against my body. So even if I plan to wear it just like this so that you see the opposite side, then you still can't physically get in to where the money or the credit cards, whatever, you know, more personal items are there. All right, so one thing I do have a slight concern about is that if you are a person who is more on the fluffy side, um, I'm concerned that it may not fit. And again, it may, it just may, I don't know. Um, but for me, I just feel like it would not fit quite well. So I am slightly kind of concerned about that, that in a sense, it may not fit everyone's body types. But again, this is where you would actually measure yourself and measure in terms of the strap, in terms of the description information that I provided you with. All right, you guys, so if you are curious as to how much stuff would fit in here, I guess what we could do is that we can stuff this in with a few products. So let me just stuff it in with makeup because that's all I have in front of me right now. So what I end up doing is putting this in here. So we got one palette. Isn't that weird to use like palettes as kind of like an example? All right, so I got two, three in there. But again, this is going to be hard to compare because you got your cell phone, you got your wallet, you got your keys, you got lip balms and things of that nature. So, you know, everyone's going to be slightly different in terms of what you're going to fit in there. So for my makeup lovers and makeup enthusiastics, you know, you have a better understanding as to what actually fits in here. And this will give you a better idea. Hopefully that makes sense, you guys. So for my gentlemen who are watching it, you're like, how is I supposed to determine that for me? Trust me, this will fit your own personal stuff. So if this can fit a woman's or or man, hey, look, um, stuff in terms of their makeup, trust me, it will fit. So right now I got a total of one, two, three, four, four palettes in here. One that's awkwardly shaped, as you saw. Let me grab maybe something else in heels. Um, excuse me for my reach. All right, so we got two more. Two more palettes. You see this? All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six palettes all together. Now it actually will close if, but the problem is, is that the face palette, the face palette is actually keeping it from closing. But if you look at it that way, if it wasn't like the 3D, here, this is what I mean by that. Look at this palette. If this wasn't so out, it would close. So I was able to fit six palettes inside this particular fanny pack so hopefully you guys that gives you a good idea as to what you can fit in there six palettes in a fanny pack that's pretty good if you if you really think about it so 
yeah, you guys, so that is my review of the Burberry blah, 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 mini, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a long title. Really quick, though, cons about this bag that, other than the strap, maybe not fitting everyone's body type. Since this is a coated canvas, I think this is something that you may want, you may end up needing to baby if you're a person that's hard with your bags. And the reason for it is because canvas does tend to... What's the word I want to use? Kind of scuff up and then you start losing some of like the design based on that canvas. Hopefully that makes any sense. I know that from personal experience. So now I'm a little bit more mindful of it and how I actually handle my bag. So yeah. All right, you guys. So I really hope this video was helpful and informative for you guys. Just in case if you're considering um, purchasing this particular fanny pack from Burberry. Again, that's not the right word, but you get what I'm trying to say. Honestly, do I regret purchasing this? Absolutely not. I think it was a great deal, $830. Comparison to a little bit over $2,000 is a bargain in my opinion. I can easily pick up some other stuff, which I'd end up doing anyways at Nordstrom. So hey, it is what it is. If you're on a budget and you want a designer luxury uh, fanny pack then definitely this is up your alley so yeah leave a comment below let me know your guys thoughts and opinions in terms of this particular style is this something that you would wear is it something that you would not wear and if you have any additional questions leave them below and i'll get right back to you but until then make sure you all brush your teeth wash your culo and subscribe to my well i feel like oprah now i should stop <laughs> subscribe to my channel until then take care bye